over there again is the shopping center that I mentioned earlier, the one that's closest to downtown San Jose. And I'm at a higher elevation now, so I see it better. Had no idea it was on the path to the airport. And the CEO of Oracle is, of course, Larry Ellison. Everybody knows that. I see Panera Bread there and a Chevy's restaurant and a Target department store, Marshall's. Pet Smart on the other side, can't see the name of it, but I saw it earlier, Sleep Train. I had to uh, take a little detour for the citrus tree. I'm not sure if those are lemons or or a group grapefruit. They must be grapefruit. The ones on the ground are as small as lemons, but certainly some of the ones up there are at least double the size of a typical lemon. Maybe smelling it will tell me. Well, it smells like an orange. <laughs> Very yellow for oranges. I'm not supposed to eat grapefruits at all because one of the pills that I take uh, has a bad reaction with grapefruit. Well, at the far end of that open space, there's a sign calling it the Guadalupe Gardens Cooperative Project of the City, Recreation and Neighborhood Services, San Jose International Airport, and Community Volunteers. I suppose that means I could have eaten one of those oranges. <laughs> and we're right across from the San Jose Market Center. That's the name of the shopping center. I'm off the trail now, but I think I can get back on it behind the shopping center. Well, just behind the shopping center is a good view of downtown San Jose. The closest high rise is the one with the $400,000 condos, luxury condos. And here's the detour. Seems like a long walk back to my car still. <laughs> This is this big building, Pitco Foods, might be a fruit packing plant. Generation ago, that was the main industry in San Jose. Companies like Del Monte were the biggest ones here. <laughs> I remember seeing uh, pictures on fruit box, <laughs> prune boxes, when my parents used to eat prunes for breakfast of the prune trees in blossom in Santa Clara Valley. And it was called the Valley of the Heart's Delight in those days. And in 1950, the population of San Jose was no bigger than Johnstown. I think both were around 50,000 people then. And of course, San Jose is now just under a million. And Johnstown's is just over 20,000, I think, now. 
26,000 maybe. And this looks like an old-fashioned motor court. Probably turned into small apartments. And there's even a 1952 Chevy parked in there, which seems very appropriate. There are some chickens in this yard. Looks like a big, pretty rooster over there. I wouldn't expect to find chickens in downtown San Jose. And right next door here is a huge cactus plant. Very prickly pear. And in the yard next to it, beautiful blossoms. Look like uh, Japanese cherry blossoms, but I don't know for sure. The pink ones, I mean. There's some white ones here, too, but not nearly as prominent as the pink ones. And over here, back on the trail, there's a big chicken. I don't know for sure if it's a rooster or not, but I think it is. Out in the open. <laughs> Could attack me. Oh, and there's another chicken. I've been attacked by roosters when I was a child. I don't think they attack adults usually, but <laughs> they're known to attack little kids. Back to this building that I was wondering about earlier, and now I realize, seeing it again for some reason, I have to say with a chuckle that that's where my ex-wife works. Uh, she's a nurse with the social agencies, uh, social services agency. She wasn't a nurse when I first, uh, in fact, when I was with her at all. She went into nursing after she remarried. I finally found a bench to sit on. I'm taking a load off, but I'm fascinated by the contrast between that little cottage-sized house in the foreground and the high-rises behind it. That small house is maybe a century old, or at least somewhere between half that and that. <laughs> and there have been lots of those around San Jose, but uh, they become rarer and rarer year by year. The sky is getting dark now, not because the sun is going down. It's not that late yet, but uh, the, the clouds are really gathering. Well, this, having been from one end to the other, I think is the prettiest part of the parkway. Just a block away from the little cottage are two houses that look like old-style farmhouses. There are signs in front of them that indicate they must be some kind of business now or uh, public uh, museum or something like that, but behind them, backyards that uh, look very old-fashioned, and there again is the cottage. Well, I said earlier that I would walk on the other side of the river on my way back down into downtown, and this is the re the, re <laughs> the pavilion, I was trying to say arena. Um, they used to call it the arena, and now they call it the pavilion. I don't know why they changed that. I'm trying to be fancier, I suppose. But anyway, this is a nice little park. And there's the river with a lot of ducks on it. The 
camera was so far away from my mouth, I better repeat that. There's the river with a lot of ducks on it. The SAP, apparently a tennis competition, is uh, being held here. And on the maps, I've been seeing reference to the children's carousel, and there it is. Didn't know where it was. Children's playground there too, but no children now in February. And that's the old water department building. And beyond those big palm trees is the downtown train station for San Jose. And here's a picturesque bridge that I don't remember even seeing when I was going the other way. <laughs> Must have been uh, focused on the other side of the trail then. I was wondering if I was still focused on close-up and I didn't realize the camera has to be changed back to a wide angle, but it does. I thought just turning it off would uh, put it back to no close-up. Well, I said this was the water department building, but it's not. It's Collier's International, whatever that is. Collier's used to be a magazine, but I'm sure that's not the case anymore. And this is the front of the HP Pavilion through the palm trees. It looks like Joel Austin is here, or coming, rather. Ricky Martin. Wow. All the big stars. Stars of religion and rock. Collier's International is here and the water company buildings are on the other side of that side street. And now I'm on that side street between the water company and the Collier building. And I believe that will be a shortcut back to my car. And uh, I need any shortcuts I can get right now. I'm aching in places that I didn't know I had when I first started out. Better view of the adobe buildings. Some more very nice blossoms, both uh, white and pink, next to some very nice townhouses here across from the pavilion, about a block and a half. back at the car. It's 4.39 now. So that was a good, good hike. But I'm glad it's over. 